Imagine being nine years old, bitten by a rabid dog. The doctors tell your family, there's nothing we can do. Death is almost certain. But then, a man steps forward, not a physician, but a chemist and microbiologist, with a radical idea. His name? Louis Pasteur. And on July 6, 1885, he would change medicine, and the fate of millions, forever. In the late 1800s, rabies was one of the most feared diseases on earth. It was painful, terrifying, and always fatal. No cure, no hope. Enter Louis Pasteur. Known for pioneering germ theory and pasteurization, he turned his attention to a monstrous killer, the rabies virus. He and his colleagues developed a vaccine using weakened forms of the virus extracted from infected animals' spinal cords. Risky? Absolutely. Untested on humans? Yes. But on July 6, 1885, he took a leap of faith. His patient, Joseph Meister, a young boy attacked by a rabid dog. Over 10 days, Pasteur administered 13 increasingly potent injections. And then, they waited. The result? Joseph lived. The world took notice. Pasteur had done the unthinkable, he had tamed a death sentence. Fast forward to today, and that same life-saving principle still protects millions. The rabies vaccine has advanced, but Pasteur's concept remains its backbone train the immune system before, or immediately after, exposure. But here's what's shocking. Rabies still kills nearly 59,000 people every year, mostly in Asia and Africa. Many are children, and just this month, the world got a wake-up call. In Australia, a man is in critical condition after being bitten by a bat infected with lysivirus, a close cousin of rabies. In India, vaccine shortages in cities like Chennai are putting thousands at risk. A British woman died in Morocco from rabies, after a scratch from a stray dog. She didn't know she was infected until it was too late. These aren't just news stories. They're reminders that Pasteur's invention isn't a chapter in a dusty textbook. It's still the frontline defense in today's global health fight. Now, health leaders in Kerala, India, are even calling for universal pre-exposure vaccination. Imagine, every child vaccinated before the danger ever bites. Pasteur didn't live to see how far his vaccine would reach. He didn't know his work would one day be scaled up to save millions, or that it would fuel billion-dollar innovations in modern medicine. But today, as the world confronts new viral threats, his legacy lives on, not just in labs and hospitals, but in every child who walks safely home after a dog encounter, in every person who survives a bat bite, and in every country striving for a rabies-free future. So the next time you hear, vaccine, remember, it all started with a boy, a bite, and a scientist who dared to try.